What's up guys, and Divine here, doing another Just Getting Started Off coil. Uh, this time we're going to do the staple coil, basic staple, unframed, just plain old ribbon wire and Clapton wire. We're going to be doing two different ones. I'm going to do one without a swivel, show you a trick to use without a swivel. Um, for any wire, not just staple wire. And we're going to do one with a swivel. The first one I'm going to do is without the swivel. So um, before I get started, just excuse the noise. The air condition that I have is quite loud, but I need it on. It's hot in Philly right now, so excuse the noise, but I think if I keep talking, you won't even notice. So this is what I need to get started. So to prep a staple coil, there's two different ways to do this. The first way I'm going to do it, I'm not going to bend and make a loop. I'm going to show you guys how to do it without doing that, because maybe sometimes you need to practice with just smaller lengths. So what I got here is .5 nichrome. 0.5 ribbon. Ribbon is 0.5 by 0.1. Um, the staple coil, uh, the original concept comes from Squid Dude. You want to make sure when you're doing the staple coil that the 0.1 side is showing. So you're getting this ribbon, this 0.5 by 0.1 ribbon, to stand on its end. So you make a stack of ribbon clapped in it, stand it up and wrap it. And one of the hardest parts about these coils is the wrapping. I would say that I went through just as much wire practicing the wrapping of a staple coil as I did making alien wire. It's something that you need practice with, but there's a couple tricks I could show you to make it a little easier. So, First, I'm going to start off by getting a couple pieces of ribbon that are about nine inches long. I'm going to give my ribbon a little tug. Just to straighten it out a bit. So this first staple coil I'm going to do, I'm going to make it a 10 ply, 10 ply 0.5 in 36. Alright, so I noticed my uh, black table wasn't the best for this right now. So I got my white paper back. <clears throat> so when doing this ribbon, you want to make sure that you get all straight pieces. You don't want no kinks, you don't want no bends, you don't want no twists, and you don't want no curves. Right now I got seven pieces. Here's eight.
Okay. Now before I get started on the next step, I want to make sure that I have some water nearby. Just a little bit of water. So what I do is I get a little cap for my water. Pour some water into the cap and just leave it to the side here. Then I also want to make sure that I got some kind of ribbon, some kind of wire to bind up my ribbon. So I'm going to get some 36 and cut it off my spool. Alright, now I want to get my ribbon all in one hand. Get it nice and even right here. Stack them up all nice. Make sure you got all the ends of all 10 wires. Run your fingers down. Go to the shortest wire. And cut all of them clean. You could also use um, clothes cutters for this. I just like using sharp scissors with ribbon. Then when you have this end, you just want to stack, excuse my hands, they're stained from work. I've been scrubbing the hell out of them the past couple days. And you want to get them all stacked up right on top of each other. So I got a 0.5 end here. And I got all my ribbons stacked. Once I have that stacked, I'm going to take my 36. Do about 10 wraps here. Now, if you're just starting off and you have hot glue and you know how to use it, hot glue this end if you want. This is going to be the end that's going into the chunk. I'm going to do it without hot glue just to show you guys that it's possible. Now I'm going to run my fingers down and just get these ribbon wires to start meeting each other on their flat ends. You can kind of feel them stacking up when you do this. It's almost like taking a stack of paper and doing that so they all stack evenly. That's kind of what you're doing with this ribbon wire. Now I'm going to get a dab of water on my fingers, and this water is going to have all these ribbons stick together. And it's going to start to look like you have one rectangular piece. The water gets in there and holds all them ribbons together. Alright. Once I get a nice rectangular shape to work with, I'm going to run my fingers down an inch and a half. An inch to an inch and a half, it doesn't matter. You could even go two inches. I'm going to do five wraps with my 36 again. You could also use 38 or 40 for this. I'm going to take that and I'm going to bring it all the way down to the other end. Right here. I'm going to 
to flip around. And I'm going to wrap five more times my 36. And then I can cut the 36 off. Alright, so I got two binds. One on this end, one on this end. I'm going to put one more bind in it with the 36. So I'm going to go to one end, come down an inch, wrap it five times. Just slide it down a little bit. This is kind of going to be my slider going down. This is going to hold my ribbon stack as I clap them. All right. So now I got a little more than nine inches of stacked ribbon wire. I'm going to show you guys how I hot glue an end on the next staple coil, but for now, I'm just going to leave this. Let me show you what it looks like close up. Alright. So, 10 pieces of ribbon wire, 5 by 0.1. Right now, we're looking at the 0.1 side. That's the wrap that's going to go into my drill. And this is the 0.5 side. So there's the 10 pieces. There's the other bind. Okay, so now we're basically ready to wrap this thing up. No frames or anything, this is just a basic staple coil. So, I showed you guys a couple of ways to do things without a swivel. The next thing I'm going to show you, you're going to use a straw instead of a swivel. So if you don't have swivels yet, I'm sure you can get a straw. I really got this from Starbucks. I put a couple pieces of tape around it to make it a little more sturdy. One more thing you're going to want to do is flare out one of the ends. So you just take a tool and flare out the end. You don't have to do this, it just makes it easier to push your coil or to push your wire inside of this if the edges are flared out. And it also makes a smooth exit And then all you're going to have to do with this straw is get a way to mount it level with your drill. Even if you have to keep your drill sideways and you find a way to mount it, do that. There's um, other ways to do it with clips. If you have a thin straw, you can kind of do one of these deals and then clip this to something. Um, I used to use this with a thinner straw, but I like this thicker straw. But I'm going to show you why this worked good. Alright, so what I've been mounting mine in is this little desktop vice thing I got here. have to tighten this down at all, just enough to hold the straw. And then I have my drill. I get the height of my drill. And then I want to make this straw level with the drill chuck. 
So we'll basically just get two coil master kits. And that makes it level. Alright. So what this stroll is going to do is it's basically going to give you another hand to hold up the other end of the wire. This way you don't have to do the pinch method to clap and you could actually just do the spool method. Just like if you had a swivel. There's lots of reasons why this straw comes in handy with more intricate builds also. So it's a good it's a good tool to know how to do. So now I'm going to get my 36, my spool of 36. I'm going to get the end of it here. Let me move this for a second so you guys can see. I'm going to get the end of it here. I'm going to take my stack, get my 36, I'm going to go about a half inch into the wire of my 36 and wrap it. I'm going over the top because I'm going to be wrapping it in the forward motion. Then I'm going to take this and get it centered in my drill. Now, this is another thing that hot glue helps with, is centering it in your drill. And the drill grabs onto the glue. But my drill also grabs onto this, so I'm alright. So if your stack's good, this wire is going to almost stand up pretty good. Not great, but good enough. I'm going to get my straw and I'm going to send my stack through the straw all the way. Alright, so my wire is just going into the straw and that's going to hold it from going crazy while I clapped in this. Now I want to make sure my stack's all good. Alright. Comes out the other end. And as I clapped in, I'm going to pull my drill back to just reveal more wire out of the straw. I'm just going to hold my spool as if, as if I'm clapping on a swivel. I'm going to start off slow, make sure my staple wires stay stacked properly in the beginning. If I mess up, go in reverse and fix it. Try to get a nice, tight, even uh, clapping. Nice even wrap.
camera's kind of getting in the way here. My camera stand, rather. So I actually never did this with staple wire. I usually do it with like stagger fuse clappings and such. So I think having my fingers up in there may help. If you ever got to reverse that much and you got all these little kinks, just take your fingers, ride them down a bit. The slider is kind of sliding out of my way as I go because my fingers are hitting it before I get to it. At the end here, don't really need that end. I made more than enough. Clip my 36, clip the end of my ribbon. Okay, so now for the most part, I'm pretty much done. If you have any twists in it, which you shouldn't really have too many twists that really matter. But you can get your nylons or toothless pliers, hold the end here, put your drill in the reverse, and twist. Move down, twist. 
I got a straight wire. I'm going to cut off the bad end here. It's been a while since I've been doing coils by uh, without a swivel. It's it's like a a new learning experience, really. But I had some really good runs with it. There you can see my staples inside. More staples inside. Alright, so I got this staple wire here. I'm just going to cut it in half. It's 8 inches long. I'm going to take it at 4 inches, cut it in half, and put it to the side. I'm going to wrap these up. I'm going to show you two different ways to wrap. And um, I'm going to get on to the swivel staple now. The one that I prefer, the one that most people prefer. But if you don't have swivels yet, or you just like doing coils by hand, um, definitely more of a challenge. Then there you go. But this is uh, how they're done more commonly. So, more commonly used nowadays is .4. For a while, there was no .4. It was just .5. And, uh... If you ever wrapped with .5 and learned how to wrap with it, then .4 is much easier for you to wrap. Uh, same thing goes with .3. So, I'm going to show you a 12-ply .4 staple coil. Great vape, um, either on mech or on a regulated device. So. This step, the stacking, is something that you're going to see definitely me do a lot. I would say 75% of the coils I do are staple coils, so this stacking step is very important to learn. <clears throat> Most people do many staple builds. Staple has great flavor. Um, when done the right way, it lights up quicker than bigger wires because it's a bunch of smaller wires and uh, it just looks cool it's definitely one of my favorite concepts just uh, thinking that point one ribbon is standing up in there is just amazing to me when you look at a staple coil so it's probably I mean it might be my favorite concept the staple coil So I'm going to take some .4 ribbon. I'm using Canthal this time to keep my build a little lower, or a little higher, I should say. <clears throat> I'm going to get my needle noses. I'm going to pull it out about 16 inches and give it a stretch. So since I'm doing a 12-ply, I need six pieces of ribbon at 16 inches. I'm shooting for dual coil again. Four. If 
five. And six. Before I get started, I'm going to take this end, run my fingers down, get the other end, and make sure that there's no kinked or bent ends, and there are some, because I was just pulling it with my needle noses, so I'm going to chop them off. And then what else I'm going to do, I'm going to clap in this with 38. So, I'm also going to get a 12 inch piece of 38 and get that ready for myself. I got my water already. And one more thing I'll be needing. I shouldn't say we'll be needing. Something I want to show you though is hot glue and a lighter not need it for this. I just want to show you guys how I do with the hot glue. Nice. Alright. So I'm going to get one end of my ribbon. Pinch. Run my fingers down. Bring them both together in one hand. Take my fingers here, pull. Then I'm going to go up to this loop, run my fingers like this. It's going to stack these ribbon. I just have to worry about right here. Don't worry about any of the rest, just right here. Once I get it stacked closely, I'm going to bring this in make a loop, pinch it tighter, make a tighter loop, make sure they all stay stacked. If you need help, you could use these ceramic tweezers and just make sure everything's stacked, everything nice and neat. My hands are a mess. Once you got it where you want it, and everything's all stacked nicely, get your 38 or your 36 or 40, whatever you got out to bind this, and bind it up. So we've got 10 wraps up here. Then I'm going to pinch my loop and run my fingers down. Once again, get these ribbons to start meeting each other. This is like semi stacking them. This loop is going to be for your swivel. That's what's going to your swivel is going to hook up to. Now I'm going to get some water, dab it on my finger, run it down my wire again. Get a little more. I want to get all these ribbons sticking together. This water step isn't crucial, but if you're just getting started off, it helps a hell of a lot. So now I'm going to get my 38 again. I come an inch down. And I'm going to bind it. I'm going to do five wraps. Pinch. And bring it all the way down again. Just like the first one. I'm going to do five more wraps. Make sure 
sure everything stays stacked. But sliding that down made all them staple wires stay the same way. Now if you feel like you want another bind in there, you could do that. You could take another piece of 38, go an inch up from where your drill is going to be, and just do a little 5 wrap in there. And that could be a little slider for you. It's not absolutely necessary though. Right. Now, the hot glue part, I put the loop on my swivel, I close up my swivel, I'm going to pull my ribbon stack away from my swivel, so I'm kind of pulling it tight, making sure this all stacks up nice and neat. Now I'm going to get my hot glue and heat it up. I'm going to take my hot glue and dab it right over that 36 or 38 or 40 that you have here. Wrap it around so you don't get no hot glue hair or whatever. And then I'm going to reheat it. And as it's cooling off, I'm going to make sure my stack's good going into that hot glue. So I get my ceramics. I'm still pulling pressure away from my swivel. It's all stacked nice and neat. Grab my drill, get my ribbon in there, and just get my build as center as possible in my drill. Your build being centered is fairly important. When you tighten down your drill, make sure that you didn't mess up your ribbon stack. that loop there on my swivel. And I pull it tight, everything goes straight. There's my stack of ribbon in my drill. Twelve ply point four. I'm gonna wrap this with some thirty eight. Get my 38 gauge. I'm going to find this space in my drill chuck. Press my 38 in there. Start the wrap. Slowly just to start off. Do about 10 wraps. Then I'm going to get my ceramic tweezers. Pinch. Make sure my stack's good.
if you've been practicing your fuse claptons, it's just like that. I'm holding my spool about a foot away from the cores I'm fusing. Keeping around a 90 degree angle. Slide my slider down. I like to stop and check, make sure everything's stacked good. up, back up, and fix it. And that's about it. Cut my 38. Staple wire. There she goes. There's the 12 ply 38, 12 ply 0.4, and 38 gauge. Much tighter with the swivels. And here's what it looks like next to the 10 ply with the 36. The 10 ply 36s are the ones on the top. The 38s, the one on the bottom. Alright, now the hard part wrapping these coils so the first thing I'm going to tell you when wrapping these coils is besides it, it's not easy it takes practice and it takes the feeling to get the feeling down don't even try it with 2.5 millimeter um, you'd actually be in better luck trying it with something bigger um, the tighter you try to make that inside diameter the harder it is going to be to wrap these so you figure you're getting these pieces of ribbon and you want them to sit on their point one side naturally they want to fold over they want to go on their point five side point four side it's like taking a piece of paper and trying to bend it down this way it's just like trying to fold this piece of paper it's going to want to bend all right so that's the way you got to think about it. Forcing it is not going to help. So, the first way that was shown by Squid Do It, the originator, was to do it with a vise. And that's probably the best way to do it. Um, the other way I'm going to show you is basically the same damn thing, only instead of a vise, you use needle noses. It's just save space you don't have to have a vice it's a lot quicker and it gets it done just about the same exact way 
So let me show you the vice concept first so you kind of understand where the needle noses come from. So I'm going to get my same table vise. It's good to have a table vise around. Not only for building, I mean, I'm a contractor, I use a vise a lot. But um, if you ever got to wrap staple coils or get answers out of somebody that just ain't talking, a voice is a great thing to have. So I'm going to do this .5 ribbon. So if you could wrap .5, you're going to be able to wrap .4. So, .5 ribbon first. I'm going to take my .5 ribbon and put it in my vise. My point, my point one stack is the stack is the part that's hitting these teeth. All right, the point fives are right here, and the point ones are right here. You'd be surprised how many people don't get that these ribbons are standing up. I get a lot of questions about that from beginners is, so wait, the, the ribbon's standing up or you, you wrap it on the .5 side? No, them ribbons are standing up in there. It's just with a macro lens, when you're looking at it close up, it looks a lot thicker than what it is. But it's really just .1 millimeter. So you get it in your vise nice and good, right on the end of the vise. Then you get your three millimeter bit. You could use a screwdriver, it doesn't matter. Alright. And it's good to have these. So, what you're going to do is you're basically resting that there but you're pulling back on it alright the whole time I'm kinda of pulling back on it now I'm gonna take my thumb and put it on the staple coil I'm kinda of just gonna push it I'm not gonna force it like this I'm just letting it lay right over my thumbs keeping it straight I'm giving it I'm giving it support close here so it doesn't spin over on me. This first wrap is very important. So I'm going to bring it down, get it away from my vise, bring it back. I'm going to take some needle noses and I'm going to pull. All right? That first wrap's done. Now, I'm going to bring my wire up. If my wire tries to spin on me when I'm bringing it up, spin it the opposite way. Spin it the way you want it. So I'm just twisting and bringing it up. And then I'll get my thumb there when I want it, where I want it. Then I'm just going to push it back down, but guide it by keeping my fingers close to the rod. Bring it back up, pull, you're just letting them fall, you're not forcing, you're letting it fall, just pushing it over, pulling back, push and pull. Push, pull.
I just seen somebody ask about this in Coil Wars. And I felt bad that my tutorial wasn't up yet. But I knew it was the next one on the list. want to go a little further so I'm doing a six wrap so I'm going like six and a half I can get it out of the vise bend that up kind of straighten out my leads And that wrapped really good. 10 ply 0.5 and 36. I'll show these guys close up when I'm done the other one. So I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to switch the camera around to the other side. Alright. So I'm going to get my other 0.5 ribbon. I'm going to do one more in the vise, and then I'm going to show you the other way, the more revised way, probably the more commonly used one now. Alright, so I got it right on the edge here, sticking straight up. rod right there. Put my thumb here. I'm kind of pulling back. Hold support close to the rod. This first wrap's crucial. And just push it over. Needle noses and pull. Bring it up. Thumb. Support. And push down. up and just letting it fall. If you're really having problems, you could kind of just little by little, you kind of just let it fall, bring it back. If it's starting not to go your way, twist it. It's actually doing it to me right now. Just get these, twist it. little at a time. One more thing I didn't show. To get this coil tight, I could pull 
with the needle noses down and pull this up and it'll get that coil nice and tight. So basically the vise and the needle noses are pulling down while I'm pulling the wraps up. Bring this around a little more. Got my six wrap. I got my little L shape. Bend up. Staple coil, no frames. Nice wrap. There they are, very nicely wrapped. Staples. See, I think I got a peekaboo there I could show you. There they are. Ten ply staples sticking up in 36. six wraps these would probably be all nichrome these are probably going to be like a 0 0.08 these are going to be low so I would do single coil 0 0.16 all right all right let me show you the other way which is taken directly from how you do it with a vise so I got seven and a half, so three and three quarter. Get me two coils. All right. So same deal. This is basically my vice. I grab my coil. All right, I wrap every coil like this. And this is my vise. This holds my vise closed. I get my three millimeter. I put it on top of my vise just like I did. Right on the end. All right. I'm closing in my hand. Push down. Pull back. Bring it up. Push down. Give it support close to the rod. Bring it back and up. Push it down. Bring it back. Up. I don't know how many wraps I want to do these yet, so I'm going to leave it at five. Because another thing I should tell you is with a staple coil, once you wrap it, it's not going to be easy to unwrap it, I'll tell you that. So, if you want a six wrap, you know, you're probably going to have to keep a six wrap or you're going to mess up your leads. Once this ribbon bends, there's really no bending back easily. You can, but... You can mess it up. So there's one five wrap. And another way you could do this. 
is you could use two needle noses. So I'm going to grab this. Get my rod. Push down. Bring it back. And this way when I'm using these needle noses, if it's bending this way, I could just twist my needle noses. Like that, so it twists to where I want it to. But I like the finger way better. I like having two needle noses still, just to pull back at this point. But the gods only want me to have one needle nose right now. That's why they just threw it out of my hand. Push and pull. All right. There's my two five wraps. In fact, what I can do. I can bend my leads right now because they're long enough to wear if I want to do another wrap I still could I got plenty of wire here to play with Alright guys, you're going to see that these are much tighter. 12 ply .4 canthal and 38 nichrome. This would probably be, it, it's definitely the better vape right here. Some nice big staples, either mech or regulated. These would probably be 5 wrap. Uh, 12 ply, 0.4, and 38. It would be close to 0 0.1. 6, six wrap would definitely be like a 0.11 or something. It might be like a 0.09. There's the 36. 10 ply. Alright guys, I hope you got a lot out of this one, um, next coil up is going to be, um, shit I guess we got to go to aliens after this, yeah, we'll go to aliens after this, um, go check out the other videos, check me out on Instagram and .divine83. Check out the Resistance Crew, Pure Atomist, and Zombie E-Liquid. Um, everybody have a good 4th of July weekend. Have fun, be safe. And um, that's about it, man. I don't think I'm going to be doing a live video on Tuesday, but Saturday I'm trying for it. So, um, guys, just uh, be safe and have fun. Any questions, hit me up. And just thanks for everything, guys. Um, everything's up on both Instagram and YouTube. Subscribers, likes, all that. Take it easy. Peace.